Hey everybody, Damien here from Trade the Fifth. Hope you're all well. Uh, as you can see now, we have bits and bias available on the Motive Wave platform. So I'm going to give you a quick video here to, on how to install it. So the first thing we're going to need is the email address for where your Motive Wave account is licensed to. So just to double check, make sure you come up to help, you go down to about, and then you can see license to here. We just want that email address there so we can then assign you access to the indicators. Once you've got that, you're gonna have the files. Uh, the next thing you're gonna to need to do is actually import the files. So to do that, we're gonna to go to study and we're gonna to go to all studies. And then come down to import and then add. Okay, and that will take you to wherever your file is saved. Now, you can't press control and uh, open for both of these. So you have to do them individually. So I'm gonna do bias and then click add again and do bits. Import and then cancel. Then what you do is you come up here to see study and then you see the W5T is there. Now, if you don't see W5T in that list, don't worry. You just need to restart MotorWeb. So shut it down, reopen it, and it should be there, okay? Any problems, email us and let me know. But all you're gonna do is you come to the bit here, click, and then create. And do the same again with the bits. You're gonna go in, click that, see all the information here, and then create again. Give it a minute, it's just gonna load up, and there you have it. So there's the information already loaded, already in there. So one of the things you're gonna to need to know as well for future reference is that when you change into another symbol, the indicators won't automatically load on that new symbol. So for example, if we come up here, and let's go to Amazon, the, the symbols aren't there. So we just go back to study, we go back to what we did and select the bias, create, and same for bits, we create. But the key thing here is once you've added them, the system will remember that you've added them. So if I go back to ES again, it's already got the indicators loaded. I already practiced this earlier with Apple, same thing the indicators are loaded. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about the installation. It's nice and quick, nice and easy. Uh, if you get any problems with Motive Wave, one of the options I found that works really well is just reboot Motive Wave and see if that works. If you have any problems or any other questions, please feel free to email me. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com. Thanks very much.